ladies and gentlemen uh, this is Julie Ben Fish Academy you all are welcome and in today's video we are going to demonstrate to you how to you know stock the big fish I have in my tank into this new 3,000 liters capacity uh, fish tank I constructed personally if you want to watch the construction video just please go through the videos in my channel and you will see how I managed to get to this 3,000 liters capacity uh, tarpaulin uh, fish tank so without wasting much time I'm going to you know bring the fish into this particular tank they are here um, there are over hundreds of them in this tank so I'm going to transport them from here into this particular amazing tank I created for them all right so I will use this as a fetcher and I'll be fetching them one after the other. I know it will be very difficult, but we're going to try. Their power is so great. Come on, calm down, calm down. Come on, relax, relax. Relax, relax, relax. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, they are pretty big. All right, these are the first to experience this new habitat. Enjoy while we go fetch for others. It's not going to be easy. I think I'm going to change my tactic. This method is likely going to be very difficult. Boom! I brought this big bucket to fetch them out. Let's see how they are going to resist this guy again. Ah! At least he's buried. Hey, calm down, calm down. Hey, calm down, calm down. It's pretty big. Calm down. Relax. Wow. He has a very big dummy. I think he's one of the guys I have in my farm right now. Should be female. Yeah, if you look at it under here, you will discover that he's really female. All right, let's take him straight to the phone. The fetching continues. Whoa! So at last, the fetching is complete. So at this point, boom. So ladies and gentlemen, they have fully been moved to their permanent site. Yes, let's call it a permanent site for them to stay. Oh, this is going to be their new and their final habitat while we expand as we go further. All right, but that's not over. We still have some that we are going to put here. Those that are going to be here will be less bigger than this. The reason is to avoid uh, cannibalism, fighting, and then also to avoid hustling of food. You know, younger generations may not be able to hustle in the midst of uh, the elderly ones. All right, let's go fetch the younger ones. Now these younger ones, they are still under beta leaf treatment. 
now they have already exceeded their one hour so I'm gonna flush out the water I'm gonna flush out this water as soon as this water is totally flushed out I'm gonna fetch them and then take them to the bigger tank over there all right while that's going down let me pause this video and at the same time please before I pause the video I have to you know rinse this tank and then make it a little bit cleaner so that I can put some fresh fish here all right while we are waiting for that to do to go down let's quickly pause the video now the water level has gone appropriately down I'm gonna fetch them into their new habitat hey these guys will be still very very stubborn very very stubborn hey calm, calm down my friend. calm down calm down all right new environment to enjoy hey feel free feel free to remain in the feel free having something good for you guys All right, now at this point, um, the whole process of, you know, taking them off is complete. Now they have this new habitat for them. Oh, uh, and then this side for the bigger ones. The bigger rogas can, you know, have fun in this tank here. While the smaller ones are here. So if I give them food here, it will not affect them in terms of you know fighting their food will be smaller in size they may be dealing with 2 mm or 3 mm maximum these guys can be dealing with 4 mm or 5 mm maximum so at that point there will be no room for you know fighting for food and fighting for food becomes a no-go area all right let me take the other ones as well to their fresh habitat now these ones that are here will now take over the Gilben Fish Academy thank you see orange in color don't resist my movement oh, very stubborn pretty stubborn all right don't resist don't resist Whoa. The job has been completed so at this point I have the fresh fish here but then I'm still gonna fetch more because I have some that are still under treatment in this particular tank you know I'm gonna fetch these guys out of here and take them to the big tank as well but let me completely drain the water we have here now ladies and gentlemen I want you to have a close look at this fish if you look at them very well, they seem it whitish in color. And one may wonder, how come they are white? What actually make them look white, you know? They're looking whitish and uh, very much different from the other ones. Now, from my experience, the reason is simple. If you remember the thang color from which I brought these catfish out, it was absolutely white. And look at it here. Now, there is something amazing about white color or something amazing about catfish. They always fight to assume the color of the environment they find themselves in. And that is more or less like making them look like a, like a chameleon, so to say. But the way they adapt to color is basically between white and black. If you have a white pawn or a white tarpaulin pawn, you will discover that the catfish you're going to rear are likely going to be white especially when they are coming up from their fries fingerlings post fingerlings juveniles and all that when they get to jumbo self 
their color will change to the color of the environment which is white if it is black you discover that they will grow deeply black so this color is applicable between white and black but if you have an orange color as this one they will not turn orange but they will maintain their black color they are naturally black in color now if it is a green tank for example they will maintain their black color if it is black tank in fact it will make their black color go better but if it is white they will adapt to the white color and then at the end of the day you start seeing your fish looking whitish it's not a sign of infection or a sign of disease although other temp other uh, factors can lead to color change in your catfish you know temperature rising can lead to color change in your catfish some diseases can also lead to color change in your catfish you know so but basically in a case like this it is simply because of the environment they find themselves into now let me take you to the tank where they are actually green now if you have a good look at these green ones they are absolutely black very few may have some gray parts in their body and all that now they are absolutely looking black they won't have assumed the green color of the tank but if it was a white tank i bet you I, 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 which word do I use now? I bet you that they will change to almost white color as the ones you saw over there. So the color in which they find themselves have an influence in what they get at the end of the day and not necessarily disease as the case may be. All right, straight away, let me take these ones out of here and take them to the permanent side as well. Knew they would try to resist my movement but the answer is no. There is actually one that belongs to the Ogas. He's the one that's about to fall out. I don't know how to put him here, but I'm gonna fight. Come on, jump out, jump out, jump out. Beautiful. I think you two can jump. No, no, no. Let me leave you with the guys. So next is to empty this one as well. All right, the water is completely down, so I have to fetch this ones. There's a little guy I'm seeing here. I think he's the smallest fish so far in my in my pond. Yeah, he's the smallest. You know, I want to quarantine him so that I can use him for experiment. <laughs> Alright, now the fishing is absolutely complete. Taking all of them to their new habitat. Boom. So ladies and gentlemen, this is where these guys are going to be for a while until they grow big. Then I will take them over to the big banks there. So but for here. This is exactly where they are going to be and they are going to grow and have their food at the appropriate timing. Alright, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do well to click the subscription button. If you like the video, give it a like, uh, give it a thumbs up. And then also you can make your comments on the comment box, you know, ask your questions, make your comments so as to make our videos improve, the quality of what we give you improve as well. Alright, now these tanks are absolutely empty. I am going to watch them wash them clean so that I can you know bring in new sets of fish now in these fish tanks you see I am planning to bring about 400 juveniles which I'm going to rear or grow in these tanks as the case may be now here these two white tanks are going to accommodate 150 150 each that will be 300 as total then these green and black tanks will accommodate 50 here, 50 here. So 50, 50, 100, 150, 150, 300, 300 plus 100, that's 400 juveniles. And then I'm going to train them as well 
while the ones you find at the big bank over there will be available for consumption for sales and all that uh, things that may come up with them all right thanks for watching once again this is uh, Gilliben Fish Academy and uh, fishing has always been our pride if you love these videos please do want to give it a thumbs up also subscribe to our channel and trust me Julie Ben Fish Academy is yet to give you